Why, hello there. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to Kaiser Rock once again. It's been a while, but it's finally updated. And I did say I wanted to play a good old Bulgaria. Oh, they've already gotten a focus. Complete. Liberals won. Oh, all right, all right. We're gonna wait on that one a wee bit. I'm gonna start with the Bulgarian land forces, maybe. Yeah, let's go with that one, right? And in the meantime, you boys guard this border. We're gonna have to build up though. That's the thing. I want to build this up, but I feel like I might lose it. I might lose it. Anyway, doesn't matter. We will do it regardless. I'll play risky and I'll do the long term beneficial stuff. The usual three as you would usually go about doing that. Alright, I got some factories and I'm producing a bunch of guns. I did get some in, right? Yeah. I did. Glory to the Tsardom. Of course. Business as usual. Business as usual. What kind of generals do we have though? Fortress Buster. Axe Entrenchment. Artillery Officer. I think we have mostly infantry, right? Yeah. Do we have one? I know what, this is fine. This is just fine. And this is an infantry boy, yeah. There we go. The Tsar, we will put him in charge. Reverse enter engineer. I like that. Reverse engineer everything. Reverse engineer, yeah, they, this is pretty sick. I, I can just freely research stuff like that. That is pretty damn nice. All right. So these are the ones that have artillery. These are the ones that don't have art. I would like an artillery, but are we making many? You know what? I will build the ones with artillery. I'll build as many as I can because I need as many as I can. Assert the Tsar's power. That does seem pretty nice. The Absolutists. Mm -hmm. Reconciliation. Huh. Yeah, what's the way that I want to go? Colonize. Ooh, I like that. Does that mean that we can integrate a bunch of shit? I hope so. But for now, I think, yeah, I'm gonna assert the power of the Tsar. Just because I can, I guess. Good war support. More war support. Let's just reverse engineer whatever we can. Actually, maybe I should just save up my points as well. I don't know, there's so much shit to do. There always is so much shit to do. Oh, what is our uh, military pensions? We're on extensive conscription, but we honestly need a lot more. We need a lot more. Mostly men, though. That's, that's what we definitely need in our army. There's a nothing. There's nothing. Everyone's dead. The religious assimilation and autonomy. Ooh. What does that mean? Is this core state? Every, is everything a core state? Does seem like it. Core state. This should definitely be. Yeah, everything seems to be a core state, so, uh. 
Genau. Matters of that. You know, let's go, let's go here. Let's go here. Oh, thank you. I could definitely use those political powerpoints, you know? Most definitely. Ooh. Start pumping out those four. Put them in here. There we go. Some more research, please. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, well, if that's the case, just put it like this instead. <sighs> we need so many guns. We need so much everything, really. <laughs> I do wonder how much time we have with all of this. Uh, liberal support. Uh, not sure about that, Chief. Not sure about all of that. Oh, I really wouldn't mind all of this. Probably this is gonna take me a while before we get there. It's gonna take me quite a while. Bulgarization. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Vulgarization. I feel like that's the path we should go. Because it's kind of like... Mm, friendship? Nah. N nah. No friendship. No, no, no fucking friendship. We're gonna colonize everything. Hopefully. Alright. Early mob. There we go. Does that mean the focus over here? Um, yeah, it switches us from early mobilization to partial. Good. So that's definitely the right choice. Most definitely the right choice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go for concentrated, as we usually do. <laughs> Man, we need so much everything. It is ridiculous. We don't have nearly enough anything. Sharia shizzle. You know what? Sure. Let's go with that one, bud. We need to integrate everything. And I do mean and I do mean everything needs to be integrated. Oh we also need so much manpower. But those are worries for later. Civil War. What kind of focus three do you have, actually? Because I might want to play you guys as well. Uh, no, their their focus is kind of really bare bones. So, uh, nah. It's probably gonna be a no for me, Chief. Let's go with this. Reinforce speed, very important to me. That sounds pretty damn good. Ooh. Maintaining the hegemony. Uh, yeah, let's get here. Let's get this done. Let's get that bread. Man, 
We need those soldiers in here. There we go. I don't have the airplanes, I think, to actually do this. There we go. Because I don't have the technology as far as I know. Maybe I do? Well, I do have some. Got naval bombers. That's not particularly useful, but hey. What can I do? I get tactical bombers and fighters. Alright. So I can actually make tactical bombers as well. For now, I don't. I can't really afford it. I can't really afford this. Right, there we go. We may harm our stability, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Because we got, we've got some pretty, pretty decent stability at the moment. Actually, you boys, you boys. No. My entire navy. Gather up, please. There we go. Should we exercise them? Can we afford this? Not particularly. But they're going to train up at least. There we go. Just train up a little bit. Get, get some better ships. Then we're going to stop. Let our oil reserves recover a bit. You know. Maybe this will give us an edge in the oncoming war, because there's going to be, there's obviously going to be a big old war happening very, very soon. Because people aren't happy that I'm a thick boy at the moment. But I am happy that I'm a thick boy at the moment, so, you know. Ah, let's put them back in. Are we in a same pact or something? Are you my ally? We are somewhat allied. That's pretty cool. Well, let's go here. Let's finish up this tree at least. So that we hopefully get some bonuses out of it. Oof. Uh, anything I can deploy yet? One more troop. And here, s'il vous plaît. I should just give them the guns, please. I'd rather have a lot of able-bodied men on the front line to guard my entire flank, because all of these boys are going to join up against me. I do not like that. Do not like that at all. Ooh. Western Thrace. Oh, does that mean they're leaving my lands or something? Or is this Western Trace? So... If I do this... I gain manpower, right? Alright. Now let's cancel all of these boys. I don't know how many it was. Sounds about right, though. Sounds about right. How many troops is that? Ten? Let's go with nine. That sounds pretty cool. I think I just made some manpower out of thin air. But I'm, I'm pretty stoked with that, though. Bulgarian language, shizzle. Oh, well, let's get this as well, right? That's gonna give us a bit of extra manpower. Now we can hopefully focus on our hegemony, army, stuff like that. And uh, defend ourselves against the oncoming war. Because I am very interested, can I even handle that war? It's not going to be easy, that's for sure. It's one of those wars that's, that's really annoying to deal with, I guess. Because you do need a bit of luck, I feel like. Why do we have so little ma political power? Ah, I don't know, doesn't matter. Does not matter. <laughs> Ferdinand the first. All right, so we're producing nine. This let's test our tier. We're producing nine. Now there's no more manpower. There we go. 
Now we're gonna go back to producing nine. Yeah, we fucking made some manpower out of that one, boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We got some free fucking manpower. I don't know if that works like that. It doesn't matter though. <laughs> Ties with Bulgaria. Uh, let's go maintain our hegemony. We do need some of that one. Oh, and economic affairs. Yeah, we also need that one. Retain agrar- No. I think we should adopt industrialization. I do think that would be very nice to have. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. If only our point situation wasn't this hot garbage like. Just pump some out. One of you can go in here. The rest we're gonna make a second army template. Ooh, Balkan hegemony. There we go. We got that one in, boys. I think we do need to defend our... Yeah, definitely, definitely handy. Uh, you boys, I need to guard. I need you to guard the border against Serbia because they they're gonna be the war leader. I think they're probably the strongest one out of all the countries we're gonna have to fight. Let's just stop from them. Let's get from the commune of France instead. And there we go. Oh, there we go. An open secret about Tsar Ferdinand I is that he himself is a bisexual man. Oh, damn. Especially with regards to him taking frequent holidays on Capri. Indeed, it is well known by many that Tsar does not does have homosexual interests. And that this has caused many scandals. Oh, my. He is a, he's a man's man and a woman's man. You know, efficiency. Why choose when you can love everything, I guess? Um... What shall we take? Yeah, let's, let's start. Let's start fixing our economy for once already, you know? We can't keep holding that off until the end of time, sadly. As much as I'd like to, it's not gonna work like that. Let's pump him out. And there, please. Mostly need warm bodies. To guard. Everything that I own. <laughs> Bada bum 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 bum. There we go. Anything else that we could use? Not over here. Actually, let's go for a doctrine. Let's go for. Huh. I'll wait. You know what? I'll, I'll actually wait. Let's try and improve our actual weapons for once. <clears throat> we don't really have the economy just yet to support uh, an, an air force or even a navy for that matter. And yet we're still creating them. <laughs> so, uh, you know. That tells you all you need to know. Alright. This punt right here. I'm gonna sneeze one second too. Ooh, excuse me. Damn, boys. That's a thick ass sneeze. Ah. Oh well. Sure. 
Serbia crowns Alexander II. Uh, Liberation Day, cool. They have never dared to crown a king as they were forced to keep a low profile in the light of the further Austrian aggression. The regent of Serbia. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, all right. They're getting bolder, essentially. They might want a piece of my ass. Spoiler alert, I know. I know. But oh well. What can a man do? Except for building more and more troops. The more, the better. There we go. Adopt industrialization is good. Let's go with the urban development for now. We must go forward forever and always and also improve our artillery as well while we're at it you know and might as well research some more naval shizzle because why not let's try train them up a little bit more the ships that we got Actually, the ones that we're building, right? There we go. Alright. Well, they're already done. Come on, just, I, want it, I want this one trained up. Ah, wasn't successful. Go back. Go back home in, the, in that case. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I do want to go this way. It's gonna... Oh, there it is. Iron Guard Romania is... Fabricating on us. Are they in a pact? Not yet. They could be, though. They could be very well in a pact against us, no less. How freaking dare you? Also, we need like half of you boys in here, and like three of you boys in there. There you go gonna thin out the herd over here a little bit but sadly it is necessary to guard everything we simply do not have the men all right every hole is at least closed up not particularly efficiently but uh well there's not much we can do about that not much Uh, yeah, they're still claiming it. Oh, there we go. The Belgrade Pact has indeed formed. But, you know, with that cliffhanger, I would like to say that this is pretty much all the time I've left for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Ooh. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you did. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. And hopefully, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.